it's hard to pinpoint myself into a specific area because uh, I deal with everything that revolves around food. So it can be anything. Maybe I'm not a born cook. I've learned to love food. So, and so I, I think um, in the past few years, I've learned to find different angles of food, different styles of cooking. and electronics and communication background have nothing to do with it but still it's hard to uh, explain how this whole thing started maybe because I was married to the best food critic in this whole world so my basic requirement during those days after marriage was just to make him eat what I cook so it started off in that way Slowly it grew into a passion, I started a blog and then moved on to a cookbook and then moved on to I mean, working as a culinary demonstrator, then moved on to become a dietitian. I mean the journey has taken me a few years but uh, when I look back now I feel that yeah, I've, I've gone through quite some Important part of all the rituals here. Now at the Pambangava. Pambangava is basically a, a place where we worship the serpent gods. Uh, so uh, my offering uh, today was basically pal payasam. The speciality of this place is that the pal payasam is uh, offered without sugar. So I feel that uh, I mean most of Kerala cuisine has a lot of connection with the offerings that we uh, give to gods. I feel that there is a need to preserve all these things. Um, later on, maybe in the future generations, people might not have the longing to cook these things. My attempt is basically to treasure all these recipes so that it stays on for the coming generations. So the basic highlight of our cooking is, uh, I mean, basically Kerala means the land of coconuts. So when Kera is coconut, then Kerala means the land of coconut. So we try to use the maximum out of coconut. It is actually very, very important part of the Kerala cuisine in itself. Banana is widely used in Kerala cuisine. So there are different uh, recipes uh, that are connected to the bananas. In fact, banana is a plant uh, where we can use most of the products, especially the uh, flour of the banana or even the raw banana. I mean, that is also used for cooking. Apart from all this, banana leaf has an important connection to our sadhya. Sadhya is, in fact, I mean, the biggest meal of our day for us is always sadhya. So sadhya is laid out on a banana leaf with different types of curries and rice to top it over with sambar and end it with desserts. Uh, I've written three cookbooks, uh, out of which two books have won the best in the world. So my second cookbook, uh, which is named uh, Lip Smacking Dishes of Kerala, uh, third best local cuisine book in the world uh, from 187 countries. Uh, and uh, my third book, which is uh, Four O'Clock Temptations of Kerala, which highlights uh, traditional snacks of Kerala, was the winner of the best Indian cookbook in the world for the year 2015-16. Uh, the series of videos that I am interested in bringing out is not just, I mean, I just don't want to uh, specifically move on to Kerala cooking. I mean, this, uh, these videos are uh, basically for, I mean, people who love food.